Hello everyone, welcome back to Pavli. So in this video, we are going to learn how to generate e-certificates on Google Forms submission. So here I've created a quiz form using Google Forms and in this case I want whenever a new form submission is made, automatically using that detail, a participation certificate should be generated in my Google Slides. So to automate this process, we will use an automation software named as Pavli Connect, in which we need to connect our trigger and our action. So in this process, our trigger application will be Google Forms and our action application will be Google Slides. So to learn this process step by step, let me take you to my screen. Welcome to my screen. So in this video, we are going to learn how to generate e-certificates on Google Form submissions. So here I've created a quiz form using Google Form. And in this case, I want whenever a new form submission is made, automatically a student participation certificate should be created in my Google slide. And then it should be saved in my Google Drive under the folder participation certificates. So to automate this process, we will use an automation software named as Pabli Connect. So this is the homepage of Pabli Connect. You can visit this page by simply browsing for the URL pabli.com slash connect. Here you can see two options that are sign in and sign up free. If you're a new user, click on sign up free and get 300 tasks every month to explore the software. And if you're an existing user, click on sign in. Here I'm an existing user, so I'm clicking on sign in. Now after signing in, you can see all Pabli apps window where you can see all the applications of Pabli. Here to integrate my applications, I'm going to use Pabli Connect. Now this is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here you can see a create workflow button on the top right corner. Here to create a new workflow, I'm going to click on this button. Now here in this create workflow dialog box, we have to give a name to our workflow. So here I'm going to give the name as generate e-certificates on Google form submissions. And now I'm going to select my folder as automations. You can select your folder as per your need. Also, you can create multiple folders to save your workflows accordingly. And now to create a new workflow, I'm going to click on this create button. Now here in this workflow window, you can see we have successfully created a workflow with the name generate e-certificates on Google form submissions. And here you can see two most important principles of an automation process that are trigger and action. Where trigger says when this happens and action says do this. That means action is a response towards our trigger. Your automation can have a single trigger but multiple action steps. Now let's begin with our automation by simply setting up our trigger. So here I'm going to select my trigger application as Google Forms and my trigger event as new response received. And here you can see we have received a webhook URL. That means we will use this webhook URL to connect our Google Forms with Pabli Connect. So following the instructions given below, here I've already created a Google Form with the name GK Quiz on World Heritage Sites in India. And now to connect my Google Form with Pabli Connect, first I need to connect my Google Form with Google Sheet. So for that, let me take you to responses. And now under responses, you can see we have received the op option of link to sheets. So here I'm going to click on this. And here you can see we have successfully created a spreadsheet with the name GK Quiz on World Heritage Sites in India Responses. And here you can see we have received some fields such as timestamp, score, name and the questions which are inserted in the Google Form. So to connect our Google Form with Pabli Connect, we need to connect our Google Sheets with Pabli Connect. But before building a connection, let's submit a response in our Google Form. So for that, I'm going to take you back to my Google Form. Here I'm going to preview this form. And here I'm going to enter a dummy data and do a test submission. So here I'm going to enter the name as dummy user. And now I'm going to perform this quiz. And now I'm going to click on the submit. And here you can see we have successfully submitted a response. So now let's view our score. And here you can see the score is 3 out of 5. So now let's go back to our Google Sheet. And here you can see we have received a successful response where we have received the timestamp. That means on which time the response has been captured. And then we have received the score, name and the results of the questions. So here we have successfully received the response. So now let's connect the Google Sheets with Pabli Connect. So for that you have to click on this extensions. And now under extensions you have to select add-ons. And now under add-ons you have to click on this get add-ons. Now here in Google Workspace Marketplace you have to search for Pabli Connect webhooks. And then you have to install this Pabli Connect webhooks in your PC. So here it is already installed in my PC. So moving back. And after installing this Pabli Connect webhooks, you have to follow the same steps. So now moving back. And now I'm going to click on this extension again. And here you can see we have received the option of Pabli Connect webhooks. Now under this, I'm going to click on this initial setup. 
and after clicking on initial setup here you can see it is asking for webhook url and the trigger column so for the webhook url let me take you back to pabli window here i'm going to copy this webhook url moving back to google sheet here i'm going to enter the webhook url and now after entering the webhook url here it is asking for trigger column so the trigger column will be a final data column on which if the data is added the whole of that row data will be sent to the webhook url so here my trigger column is column h so here i'm going to enter the trigger column as h and now i'm going to click on this submit and here you can see it says setup configured successfully so now let's move back to our pabli window and here you can see as it is waiting for webhook response so to receive a webhook response we need to do a test submission and as you have seen that i have already done a test submission in my google form and i have received the response in my google sheet so to receive this response in my webhook response i'm going to click on the send test and here you can see it says test data sent successfully so now let's go and check our pabli window and here you can see we have received a successful response where we have received the score name and all the answers so with this we have successfully set up our trigger but now before setting up the action let me take you back to the google sheet and here we have to perform another very important step so that pabli connect can capture the new responses easily so for that you have to click on this extensions again and now under extensions you have to select pabli connect webhooks and then you have to click on this send on event by doing this whenever a new response is captured in your google form automatically pabli connect will capture the response so now moving back to pabli window and now we are going to set up our action step so here i'm going to select my action application as google slides and my action event as create presentation from template so as you can see i have created a student certificate template where i have used two variables that are name and the score so moving back to pabli window here i'm going to click on this connect and here to build a new connection i'm going to click on add new connection if your google slides account is already connected with pabli connect then you can click on select existing connection and now here to build a new connection i'm going to click on the sign in with google here i'm going to select my desired account here i'm going to click on the allow and give access to pabli as your data is secured with pabli and authorization successful Now after building the successful connection moving forward and here it is asking for template presentation so for that let me take you back to my google slide and here you can see i have created the presentation with the name student certificate so moving back to pabli window so here i'm going to select my template presentation as student certificate moving forward and now here it is asking for title of new presentation so as in this case i want whenever a new response is received in my google form automatically a new presentation should be created with the certificate of that student so moving back to pabli window here i'm going to give the title of new presentation as new participation and after entering the title moving forward and here it is asking me for new presentation's location so the new presentation which will be created will be saved in my drive under the folder participation certificates so moving back to pabli window here i'm going to select new presentation's location as participation certificates moving forward and now here it is asking for name and score so basically in my certificate template i have used two variables in the place of name and the score so here in pabli window instead of entering these details manually here i will map the data mapping data means insert data from previous step that means here i will map the data from the response i have received in my google forms mapping makes our text dynamic so that whenever a new form submission is made automatically this previously existing details will be updated with the new one so here i'm going to map the name moving forward and here i'm going to map the score so here i've successfully entered all the details and now i'm going to click on save and send test request and here you can see we have received a successful response so now let's go and check our google drive and here you can see we have successfully created a presentation with the name new participation so now let's select this and here you can see we have successfully created a certificate with the name dummy user and the score 3 out of 5 so with this we have successfully set up our automation Now let's test our automation to check whether it is working or not. So to test our automation, we need to submit a new response in our Google form. And for that, let me take you back to my Google form. So here I'm going to enter another dummy data and do a test submission. So here for the name, I'm going to enter the name as Shelly Jen. And now I'm going to perform this quiz. And then I'm going to click on the submit. and here you can see we have successfully submitted the response so now let's click on this view score 
and here you can see the score is 3 out of 5. So now let's go and check our Google Drive. Here I'm going to refresh this window. And here you can see we have successfully created a new presentation. So now let's open this. And here you can see we have successfully created a new certificate with the name Shelly Jane and the score 3 out of 5. So with this we have successfully tested our automation. Now let me summarize this whole video for you. So here we have taken a trigger as Google Forms and an action as Google Slides. So that whenever a new form response is received in our Google Form, automatically using that detail, a new e-certificate will be generated in our Google Slides. If you want to use the same workflow, then you can find the clone link in the description box below. I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. Not only these applications, you can integrate many other applications with Pabli Connect. If you have any doubt, you can contact us on support at zaritpabli.com. If you have any query, you can contact us on forum.pabli.com. And if you have any pricing related issue, then you can contact us on www.pabli.com. If you like the video, please subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends.